All right, my friends, we've made it to South Carolina, just outside of Greenville to Maple. Yes, this German brand is one of those really nice companies that want to give you some precision and maybe some unique technologies that allow you to do more in your shop. But Dan is waiting inside for me because we're going to give you an exclusive tour here today. So come on, follow me, please. As we head inside, we have such an illustrious history. I believe it's almost 75 years, but we're going to let Dan talk about most of that. Dan, how are we doing, my friend? Good, Tony, good. Welcome to Maypal. Oh, thanks for having us. I'm very excited. I've had the great pleasure to go through this shop already, and I thought to Dan, I was like, Dan, Dan, can we get the cameras and show everyone else what's back there? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to head back. I actually, one of the crew today, I got my own little card to get us in through the door. And we're gonna head in here. Dan, as we head into the factory, I think it's really important to kind of start with the company history. Yeah, absolutely. Where did we start and how long ago? Oh, this company began in 1950 in a, a small town in Germany, Aalen, Germany, uh, by a, a, a gentleman by the name of George Kress. He was actually a finance guy and, and bought, a, uh, bought a local manufacturer uh, and started from there and now we're still privately owned company one family the crest family uh, and on our third generation so almost 75 years wow third generation 75 years i mean look at some of the tooling that's here as well absolutely incredible we do amazing stuff i'm telling you but it amazes me every day when i look at what we do and what we're able to do you know we uh we're very very adept at special tools that's that's our that's our Bailiwick, it's what we love, right? Our batch sizes aren't 100, they're three to five. Wow. And that's, that's kind of how we work, is, is looking at customers, making sure we're in tune with the customer, and, and helping them be more productive, get more parts out the door, and in the end, make more money. That's the goal. I like to make more money. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are we gonna get to see some of these parts, during the, some of these tools during the tour today? For sure, absolutely. We've got some, some Nice complicated tools. Huh? <laughs> nice PCD complicated tools. And solid carbide, yeah, for sure. This is what these guys do every day. So we have a little bit of the history. What would you say the foundation or the reasoning behind doing such unique and precise work instead of just, oh, we can make hundreds, we can make thousands, because I know that there's a passion. There's there's something that goes yeah. into the desire to make the unique tooling for customers. Yeah, for sure. I mean Look, there's a lot of people on the market that, that can, can make just general drills and that. There's not a lot of people that do what we do. Uh, you know, we look at, we go to the customer, look at their application, uh, go back, analyze it, and make sure that we turn three tools into one tool, right? And now you've, now you've just reduced cycle time. Sometimes we've reduced it from four minutes to 20 seconds. So it's quite amazing. <laughs> Okay, well, first of all, I saw something out of the corner of my yeah, eye yeah. that I got to bring yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But four minutes to 20 seconds, that would be something that's kind of normal for you guys, right? That would make, you know, at my machining days, let's say, yes. and talking with the audience, a lot of us go, okay, I want to buy a tool that does this operation and does this operation well a lot of mm -hmm. times without maybe thinking about I can do multiple operations in that same that's tool. Right. And that's where you guys come in. That's and I want to elaborate on that, but before we move, keep walking, what in the world? Yeah, Look at so, this thing. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I can barely lift it. <laughs> this is this is more than I curl, yeah, Dan. I've got to be honest. Yeah, no, this is one of uh, a typical. It's a this is a repair tool that we've done, but we build this new. Uh, it's a typical PCD tool where you've got multiple operations combined into one tool, uh, all held extremely tight tolerances. We talk microns here. We don't talk you know bigger than microns uh, when it comes to PCD tools. And like I said, these guys in in, in this shop. You don't just find them on the street. They're really, really technical, high-level uh, operators here. Well, we need that, especially coming from a German company that requires your type of precision. I'm seeing, you know, dozens of machines. You mentioned PCD just now, yes, but sir. you do obviously a lot more than PCD because they, if I look on the other side, yeah, there's yeah. even more machines yeah, over there. Absolutely. So, so in this 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 building, we uh, we. We started at Fountain Inn in 2012, but the building as it is today was inaugurated in 2019. Okay. And we made a significant investment in, in machines. And, and we should point out that our manufacturing processes, we have centers of competence uh, for PCD, one for solid carbide, one for 
uh, tool holders, everything. So we have international standards that we use. You, we can't go buy whatever machine we, we want. We buy the machines, the wire, the coolant, is standard. So if you get a tool from Mopal in Germany, you get a tool from Mopal here, same tool. You know, I heard you say Mopal. When I introduced this thing, I said Maple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a difference between how we say it in the U.S. versus the original there is. German way, yeah, right? Yeah, there Can you is. Can describe so, why that might be? Sure, yeah. I mean, Mopal is an acronym, and, and by the way, I've heard it pronounced a million different ways. If you send orders, you can pronounce it however you like, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Remember that. Send however you want. Send right. the orders. Send the orders. Uh, but it's an acronym. It's, it stands for Machine and Precision Tooling Allen. So that's where the name comes from. Globally, it's really pronounced Mapal. In the U.S., it's Maypal, Mapal. I've heard a lot of different different terms, but Mapal is really the one. I haven't made that mistake yet, Mapal. Oh yeah, I hear it all the time. But Mapal and Maypal, I've heard. Well, let's continue on this tour talking about how you support this industry with that quality. You have a focus on it. I, I understand this to be a majority automotive for a long time, right? And you yeah. slid into aerospace, which we're going to get to in just a minute, because yep. there's something very cool I need to show you guys. Yeah, for but sure. it was automotive, you're doing some aerospace. What other parts of the industry? So, Anyone who needs really precise parts? Yeah, for sure. I mean, look, what in this industry, you make flat surfaces and round holes, and it's not that <laughs> easy to do, right? But the company was based uh, and grew off of the automotive industry. The key is, we're not just an automotive company. We're in fluid power, we're in aerospace, dye and mold, uh, big into e-mobility now. So we span a variety of industries. If you need precision and if you need high productivity, we're the people to call. I like that. If yeah. you need precision and high productivity. That's us. Even though you're making three to five piece batch parts, right? All day. I'm seeing something over here as well. I'd like to get a little bit closer because this is okay. something that's a bit unique as well, isn't it, Dan? This machine over here, although it's not running at the moment, uh, this is part of your R&D to make sure your folks are getting what they need? Yeah, it's part of our daily testing, actually. Because, daily testing, yeah, okay. When we make tools, uh, a lot of people now are using, using minimum quantity lube or MQL. And it's not as easy as just making a coolant through tool for, for MQL tool. So we test each one to make sure that the spray pattern and the coolant holes, when it comes out, that it, you're getting the right amount of lubricant to each individual part of the tool. Uh, if, if you don't test it, you really don't know in the end until you put it in the machine. A little late at that point, right? And that, now they've already paid the money. It's a little late. A little late at that That's point. That's right. All right, one of my favorite areas here is this aerospace R&D yeah. here. Uh, dedicated, as you can see, to uh, 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 Dr. Dieter Kress. Kress. Dieter yes. Kress, yeah, Dr. Kress. So, uh, and and um, there's something in this room that I'm very excited to show as well, but let's talk a bit about aerospace. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when we talk aerospace here, we, we talk a lot about the assembly side of aerospace. Uh, there's two sides of it. There's the uh, structural components, and then there's the assembly side, and we do a lot of assembly. We're one of the top suppliers to Airbus, actually. Are you? Uh, okay. Yes, and uh, out of France, and, and we take that technology and we bring it uh, here to help the help the technology that we've got in this country as well. So it's it's very complicated with uh, between carbon fiber and stacked material. You you need one tool to machine carbon fiber, aluminum, titanium, aluminum, aluminum, titanium. One one shot. So that's what we do here, and we do it all the time. You said all those different materials and it's really fast, and I'm like, you just made that up. No, but no. You didn't. That's no, no. actually how it works, no, no, right? That's, that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you start building plane components and you start adding them together, uh, and this there it is, is what you're talking that's about. What this I'm is talking the actual about. example. That's the actual example, yeah. Some of the folks watching this video right now might have just sounded like you rattled a bunch of materials off. No, it. sir. You, you put them together, and, and uh, when the plane is coming together, that's what you have to drill through. And it has to be the same tool to hit all of the materials. Well, I kind of want to close this thing out on two things. One day, and I want to give you an opportunity to just kind of have like a, a closing statement with who and what Maypal is, what the future looks like with you guys as well, what you're, who you're looking to reach for folks out there that might not know you just yet. And sure. then we're going to talk about that machine that's in the back. Yep. And there's only two in the world. That's of, it. Two in the world. That's it. So we'll, we'll end on that. But I want to give you a moment just to kind of share. This is who sure. we are. This is what we do. This is who we're trying to reach. Sure. I mean, like I said, we're a family owned company. Our, our vision uh, at this company is to be in tune with our customers, state of the art in our way of working, 
uh, have, be a company that people really want to and enjoy working for and deliver results. You don't deliver results, hard to have a company in the end, right? Uh, but you know, when you're in tune with your customers, it doesn't always mean the most expensive tool, the most uh, technical, sometimes simple makes things work. Uh, we don't do simple very often, but you know, example is when you've got e-mobility components. We have three different levels of e-mobility, uh, the, the tolerancing, it depends on the volume amount. So if you're in tune with your customer, you don't go with the most expensive version if he's only making 50 parts a month. You go with what's right for the customer. So we do a really good job listening to what the customer wants and needs, and then designing our solution based to them. And that's, that's what we do. I mean, we, we've uh, grown from the automotive industry, and, uh, and now we're, we're not just automotive now. We are in fluid power, tight tolerance holes, uh, aerospace, complicated holes. We're very good at that stuff. Yeah, and I'd just like to say for everyone watching right now, when we talk about the ability to make one tool do four or five different operations, reducing the cycle time from our original by getting the right tool, but then adding operations to that tool, reducing it even further. I mean, yes. that's worth the investment. When we talk about pricing Absolutely. and costing, at the end of the day, that price per part goes down so much. That's the importance of what you guys can do here. And then on top of that, your service and support area, your yep. R&D area to make yeah. sure that this is gonna work for the clients, it's not a guessing game. Nope. This is something you guys know, you've invested in, I mean, 75 years, third generation, you're doing it right. That's right. And we got a whole nother video just talking about how this all comes together and the successes that come from that as well. Absolutely, and, and we, like I said, the, the, uh, the technology that we do, you add things together. We talk with customers about cost per, per unit, cost per part all the time because in the end that's where the money is right tooling's what three percent of the budget so pretty much in yeah reality, three to five call it five even that's mm -hmm. not much that's not where you're going to make your money where you make your money is getting more parts out the door in the same amount of time that's called productivity that my friend is very well said <laughs> all right let's not keep these folks holding on for those of you who are interested in seeing this machine there's only two in the world we have a separate video just on the subject of the r d for aerospace so stay tuned for that video but i had to i just had to yeah, yeah. give you a sneak peek day can <laughs> we slide go. back there yeah let's go so let's head back here real quick camera folks come on audience let's take a look all right Ooh, we have a nice echo in here as well yeah, so this will be fun when i first <laughs> saw this machine when i stepped back here down i was like I've never seen this before. Yeah. And I've filmed hundreds of videos, been into thousands of shops. I've never seen this before. What is it? So when, when, you, uh, when you put the, the fastening holes in an airplane, uh, they do by hand with what's called an automatic drilling unit. Uh, and these, this is an ADU test bed, we call it. ADU, automated drilling unit. And, and with this machine, we can make a tool, take the stack material, which they've got one on there, uh, and, and drill through it and determine Torque specs, what's the pressure of the torque, what's the forces uh, coming back actually, and really know exactly what the tool is doing as it's going through the different materials. And you bring customers back here, they send us a sample, we drill it, the customer looks at it and says, ah, I see there's a problem. We have the ability to take that tool out, make another adjustment to it, drill it, so that in the end, the tool that you get every day, you know exactly what the forces you're gonna have. It's incredible. It's amazing. Well, I, I've had the same reaction you did when I first saw it. <laughs> I, I feel like everybody, people watching right now might yeah. have that same reaction. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, Dan, well, we've had an amazing time showing much. the audience a little bit more about yeah. these doors here in South Carolina. We're actually going to be heading up to Michigan before too long as yeah, well, Yeah, for we? sure. Yeah, absolutely. We've got another, another shop up there uh, just, as, just as amazing as this one. I look forward to showing the audience that as well. For everyone watching, this is my buddy Dan. This is Maypal here in South Carolina. Such a cool facility, almost 75 years being in business, third generation German precision. It's that company you can rely on for those difficult, headaches, stressful areas where you need to save money. If you're bidding on a job and you want to win that job, this is the type of company that can help you win because they're taking that operation down. The price per part is gonna go down. Everything that Dan said during this tour has been their focus. That's why the trust and reliability comes in, right? That's right, sir. Dan, you are amazing. Thank you, Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. I do appreciate, appreciate you. it. Thank you all as well. As I always say, time is the thing we cannot manufacture more of. So if you spent it with Dan and I today, thank you so much. Yes.